I'm really thankful to be nominated for one of the Hospital Heroes Awards. The exciting thing for me is that it will highlight the important work the teams are doing to really make a difference for the bereaved. The medical examiner and mortality review processes that we've embedded into the trust sees us proactively seeking opportunities to learn and improve the quality of care given to our patients. For myself and for the Deputy Medical Director, it was really important that we did this in a way that made a meaningful difference to our patients and for their families and carers. I've had such positive engagement from all colleagues in clinical directorates as well as supportive partnerships with many external stakeholders and I'm really grateful that everyone showed such an appetite to make a change and make such a difference to the bereaved families. I work on um, Rochford and Westcliff, which is the respiratory unit in the hospital. Um, I've been here for nearly 20 years, um, so it's a long time to have been in the hospital. Part of my job um, is obviously looking after people who are dying, um, and that is a real privilege to be part of them taking their last breath with their relatives and families. And how you do that really impacts on what the family will take away and in, with the grieving process that can really help. I might be the last person that they ever see. Um, when I found out about being nominated for Hospital Hero, uh, it made me feel very proud and uh, it's, it's given me a lot of confidence in my job. Well basically I get great satisfaction of um, making the place look nice and also it's, it's very important to for the patients where they can come somewhere to relax because um, obviously the hospital's not the best places to be you know so uh, I just want to put a bit of colour in the place and put a smile on patients faces So I've worked in the Trust for 20 years plus, um, always been dedicated, um, like to think that I go above and beyond. Always uh, the focus is the patients, but ultimately looking after our staff, um, particularly because if we can look after them really well, then they can therefore look after the patients even better. So apart from being a medical matron, which um, I look after cardiology and respiratory, um, I also have a real passion for recruitment. Um, engaging in the younger generations, so you know, getting the interest into nursing um, and any other sort of allied health professionals, specifically for South End Hospital. I'm very uh, passionate about working here, and it is a great place to work. Being nominated for Hospital Heroes Awards is a really great achievement for the team. They're a really small team and for them to be recognised in the hospital for the big targets they achieved is really great and it'll build their morale. So over the last year the Bridge Gap Service has assisted the Trust and local authorities to support patients home safely which improves the patient experience. They're a team of hard-working caring HGAs who go above and beyond to ensure that patients are able to safely return home and they always strive to maintain professional standards and very caring and always provide patient-centred care. For about the last five or six years, we've handed out all the, the first was the hampers, then it's just been boxes of chocolates. And I say it's not normally something we, we usually do, but um, and it was again with the Christmas trees as well. We hand out the Christmas trees when they're needed. And um, again, at Christmas time, it's obviously our busiest time of the year. And it's, um, so it's not something we normally do, but it's, um, it's good, don't it? It's, it's actually quite a job because we actually get to meet people that we don't normally meet when they come down for the chocolates. <laughs> so we deliver everything from pens and paper to your, your, your gloves, your masks and everything, your uniforms and without even name badges and we deliver near enough everything. I know we've all, we've always said we're all small cogs in one big machine but I think we have a vital part of that and without us and of me and my team, I say the hospital would come to a halt within days if we weren't here. It was lovely to be nominated for Hospital Hero. The whole team was thrilled to bits. Um, we were so pleased and excited about it. Complex um, urology cancer surgery remains um, a relatively new venture for the Trust. and We support patients all across the region. 
Uh, some of the procedures take up to 15 hours and the team um, display uh, ultimate professionalism and dedication to support the patients whilst they're in theatre. Uh, when the team starts a case, they're committed to staying to the end um, of the procedure and they stay with the patient throughout um, their time in theatres. So we are nominated by, uh, by our, one of our trainees, um, which is, uh, of course, very rewarding for everyone involved in training uh, that this has been recognised. Um, we frequently get asked to, uh, to nominate who is the best trainee that we've had, but we don't seem to have an award that goes the other way. And you never really know if your trainee is just being polite to you, that you've been nice to them and they didn't enjoy the time or if they truly got some value from the time they were here. Uh, when it comes to surgical training, of course, this isn't just a, a consultant delivered training. It involves a whole team. People learn from uh, specialist nurses, from HCAs that are on the ward. They learn also from the administrative staff and from the management. It's important also to acknowledge the working relation, the importance of the working relationship that exists between management in the department and the clinicians, because without this uh, very close cooperation, you cannot run an effective and, or even a safe service. So I think that any award uh, that anybody gets put forward for, like this one, it's not about what I do. The, the, what I do is one very small component of a huge army and team of people who work to make patient care the best it can possibly be in Essex and beyond. And so within the trust that I work, there's a huge backroom staff in both the clinics and my secretarial uh, support. Uh, you know, without all of those people to actually get people to come to these things, we, we don't have a service. And I think that these patients, uh, these people are very often overlooked. And I think that's really quite sad. So this, this, this potential nomination for an award is, is about what we're all doing as one big team and not just about what I'm doing. Um, not only that, but in the cath lab where we work, there's a huge army of nurses, of support staff, of radiographers, of physiologists. And again, none of our patients can be treated safely without those individuals all working as a team. And I think that in cardiology, again, we're very lucky that our teams work very well together and, and teams that work well together get good patient outcomes. So it's really exciting and, and I'm delighted to be part of a really well-functioning